Now just running through doing the propeller in AutoCAD or fan. So the first thing we'll do is draw in some center lines, uh, offset them to get our centers of circles, and uh, then start filling them in. So we'll draw some center lines first. And we'll offset up 55 to get the center of the circle, upset another 20, offset to another 25 to get the center of the next circle. So offset 55 up and offset again 25 to get our next circle. Okay, so we've got a circle of 8 diameter in the middle. We've got a circle of uh, radius 20 on the top here. So, let's go 8 and 20. Okay, now There's a radius of 45. So this circle blends into this circle. We can put a line tangent to the first circle, tangent to the second circle. Now we have to find the location of the next curve. That's the only tricky thing about this this next arc here is located 12 across to the side and we have to get the point at which the tangent occurs between those two arcs if we line up the radii we can see that the distance from the tangent point to the center is 45 and the distance from the tangent point to this second center is 31. We take those away one from each other and we get a distance of 14 from the center of the 45 radius circle. So let's do a circle and it will be 14 from here and let's offset distance of 12 here. So this point here should be the center of our circle which is 31 and then we've got one line to draw tangent to that circle and tangent to our 8 circle and it's all over by the trimming we'll just uh, take a few those lines out to clean it up a bit. <coughs> and I think we're pretty well there. And then we just need to do the array. So we'll do a polar array. And the objects we want are all of those. Doesn't matter if that's a little bit wrong there. Select the objects. Center point of the array is there. We want four items. And we're finished.